You're watching Jimmyism Total Notary Channel, and we're back with more battles with the broadsword. I have updated the broadsword, as you will see in my fixing the broadsword video, and it has been nice. Today we have already run all the like proper battles, but today we will run some auxiliary battles. This is Shield Builder's Iron Firmament. And, uh, well, Shield Builder basically thought it would be a cool idea if we tested this airship. God damn it, is, is it gonna ramp? Why? Uh, well, he thought it would be kind of a good, uh, cool idea that we would test uh, this Iron Firmament against the Broadsword, since they have a, a similar style with this little Cathedral 40k-esque thing. Um, it's kind of the same feeling like the Broadsword in some way. And it's pretty cool. It looks really cool. And of course, uh, we didn't accept uh, um, like airships to this battle, so this battle is more for fun, uh, as you might understand. And uh, one thing that's new is that we actually set the spawn distance to 2000 meters instead. And this time we will also try the secondary submissions for all of you who submitted two ships. Well, uh, then you will see your ship appearing in this video, I hope, if we are able to... Whoa, what happened there? What was that? Well, you will see your secondary uh, submission um, be used uh, or be tested against the broadsword in this video. And it seems like the Shield Builder's Iron Firmament could not take on the broadsword. Well, Maybe broadsiding is best done uh, at uh, sea, not in air, I'm not sure. I don't know how expensive that build was either, I didn't really check it. But I think it's safe to say that even this, like this is an airship against the broadsword, so this battle is more for fun, so I don't think I would have counted if, if the airship won. But it was very cool to see this um, airship in action. Because, um, yeah, I think this uh, 40k-esque uh, feeling or, or um, architecture of stuff is pretty cool, actually. Well, in any case, oh god, I'm at 80.5. It's so close to despawning. I think we'll need to pummel some uh, cramps there. Yeah, there we go. Now it should be despawning. Very nice. So, a win for the broadsword. I'm, I'm very proud of you. So if you haven't seen my little video, I made a video where we pimped the broadsword. Um, like we fixed some obvious stuff, made it so that the AI doesn't get EMP killed directly. Since I've learned that stone doesn't insulate very well anymore. Uh, so we might as well... Yeah. We've fixed that. We've armored up the main turret a little bit more. And uh, we've set all the guns in a nice um, resting position, which is quite important. Yes, so that is basically that. Um, so, next battle. And we can go here, we see our teams. Uh, here we have the broadsword, there we go. Yeah. So, um... Oh, I also wanted to test the BBS fifth season against this thing because I never tried it. Okay, so the armor for a moment was a million build as well. Um, and yeah, here we have Anthony Taps, uh, BB11, Interdictor, Interdictor, yes. Which is a, it's a late submission, so uh, that's why we uh, we're. We'll, 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 that's why we're gonna try it out now. All right, so there we go. Here we have, uh, if you didn't see my fixing the broadsword video, you can see that all the cannons have this nice little angle now, as well as, there we go. These ones, the, the, bro the, the big cannons as well, they also got a nice angle going on there. Um, these ones and basically all the turrets, cannons and stuff stick up and have a nice little direction and oh 
And the anti-air cramps are my favorite. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Doesn't it look amazing? Anyways, um, here we have Anthony Tapp's BB-11 Interdict Interdictor. Yeah, it looks very powerful. It's probably one of those piercing danger stuff, I believe. And again, we are now spawning a little bit further apart. We're spawning at a distance of uh, 2000 meter instead, just because it was unfair that the broadsword never got time to turn. Okay, so we got a little laser here. It's really spamming shots here, eating away at our... Uh... Uh oh, all right. And it's now a circle at distance. It uses the circle at distance AI. Um, so that's interesting. Um, and it uses two different ones. So if it gets damaged, it automatically switches around. All right, so, wow. It's just spamming shots there. Some really quick uh, Q4. 4Q switch lasers. I've got railguns going on here. Just railing and railing, and it has. Does it have smoke, I believe? I think it looks like it has laser warners at least. We got a little blue lamp system, and it's really taking out many of the incoming shells. It's down to 99%, 0.9, and the broadsword is at 93%. So it, took, it looks like an overall powerful battleship. Um, it looks like a very like standard, normal type of battleship. Basically, ooh, look, it has a little map room and stuff like that. It's very nice. Whoa, now I flew away here. And there, oh, there we have some detection going on there. Very nice. Anyways, what's happening with the broadsword here? We are not... Come on! It finally lined up a broadside. But oh no! Half of the cram shells didn't get through. That's too bad. Alright. Uh, oh, I added some decoys as well to the broadsword um, and stuff. And that's all in the updated version on the workshop. So you can just uh, go to Gmodism's uh, workshop and you'll find it there. So that's all nice. Anyways, uh, the broadsword is down to 84 percentages. Um, it hasn't died yet, that's for sure. But we seem to not be able to get through to the BB-11s. The, uh, the lamps are pretty strong, so... Uh, our good big damage shells won't really get here, it seems like. We don't see very far, do we? Come on! anti air cramps, do your job! Shoot it! What is going on? Why didn't it switch to the right side? It's supposed to switch to the... All right. I guess the AI is improved, but it's obviously not uh, perfect. Oh, these lasers really start eating away into our internals, that's for sure. And the Anthony Tap submission is still basically unharmed, thanks to the strong lamb systems yeah very good very good strong lamb systems you can see that the shells just get uh, despawned coming in here so um, that's the broadsword's way to deal damage so it's really uh, it's really quite devastating for for the broadsword to be faced with a system with an enemy that has like proper lambs and stuff like that oh yeah the broadsword is not going to win this thing. Indeed not. 
It's now collapsing. We have explosions and stuff. It didn't get to use the other side. Uh, I wonder what happened with the AI there. Because it, uh, it switches sides when it's damaged. Uh, except it changed its mind halfway, it seems like. Pretty weird. Yeah. Or possibly the AI's ACB got damaged. Oh man, what happened here? Oh yeah, the, oh, look, the entire main AI is uh, gone. It had to be killed by some really heavy EMP weapon there. I'm starting to think that um, the Interdictor uses some uh, serious, serious EMP missiles there. And you can see the EMP damage just uh, eating everything. Now, what happened with this? This turret is blown out for sure. Um, yeah, it is. It's improved, but it's uh, it's not perfect now. All right, broadsword is down to 58, so we are pretty certain which way this battle goes. Uh, and um, yeah. Anthony Tapp's lead submission is uh, indeed Whoops, god damn it. Alright, we're back. So from the depths kinda crashed as uh, as it as it does. Um now we are looking at Lux LP's second submission. Omoi version 2. Oh, I really like this hull shape. Wait, what? Does it have a rudder in the front? That looks weird. But it looks super cool. Like the the hull shape of this thing is very nice. I like it. It's uh, it's very proper boaty boat. Very nice boat. All right, nice, 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 nice. It looks very cool. So uh, it's uh, significant significantly smaller than the broadsword. Just so you know, it's kind of half cost. Um, so we shall indeed see. What's happening? Looks LPs. It scored some hits. The broadsword is damaged, but it's already down to 90%. Our uh, looks like looks LP need to set up some uh, axis uh, limitations, rotation limitations on the turret, because that thing is confused and stuck. It thinks it can rotate all the way around and if you don't set up the limitations in the axis sometimes turrets get stuck. Well now it died anyway. So that's that. We're down to 76%. Ooh, it has mortars. It's valiantly trying to battle the broadsword but I believe its uh, fate is sealed. Now we got the light fire broadside. Heavy. Oh yes. It's looking quite sad, I must say. 60%. The broadsword is feeling alright. Oh no, its detection tower just got shot off. Well, that's too bad. Well, well. I don't think it will change much because the Omoi is down to 55 percentages. Nice colors in here. I wonder what that means. If it's like note to self. I maybe should use colors for internal parts to kind of uh, know what they are all about. Very nice blue color. I like this uh, I like this teal teal color there. Well, it is a quite Expected win for the broadsword, considering how much smaller this uh, ship is. Very nice. Congratulations, broadsword, you want something. Moving on. Oh god, this name. Next up, we have Sean Reed, to, uh, second submission. Sean Reed's second submission, which is a 400k ship. Okay. 
I think... Let's scroll up her. Sean Reed's uh, main submission was the big one. This is this is the second submission, but for fun. Which is called... Eurypterid Jackelopterus. Oh, yes, okay. Eurypterid Jackelopterus. <clears throat> so, let's begin the battle. No. Thank you. Very nice. Oh man, it looks like I'm some kind of weird dinosaur thing. It looks very spacey. It has camo and very sharp angles and... Is this chaff emitters? Why? Why there? Maybe it doesn't matter where you put them. I thought they had to face upward or something like that. Here we have some back. I didn't know you actually could put grills in front of packs. Or maybe this is just a propeller. Yeah, okay, that's just a propeller that looks cool. And ion thrusters inside. All right, we have some stuff going on there. It looks it looks like some it looks like one of the aliens from uh, what is it called? A starship trooper. All right. So, it actually looks uh, it looks quite dangerous even though it's just half our cost. But even though I'm, I will be a little bit sad if it uh, manages to win, since we are more than twice as large. <laughs> but it would be cool. Ew, man, that's some powerful lasers. What? These ain't lambs. What? Or are they? Maybe? Yeah. Weird. Like, main... These turrets are... They lamb stuff. And we're going in real close. Oh, look how cute... Cute little stuff with uh, propellers and uh, turning stuff on them. Ugh. We finally got the proper broadside. Thank you. Oh god, it's still at 93%. Like, nothing happened. Where is all the blocks? It has to be a lot of heavy armor in this thing. Man, it's raining blocks. And now they are starting to go offensive. I'm starting to think that these laser turrets are short-range lasers that are set up to do damage against incoming shells when we're far away. Uh, and are set up to target the main construct when we're close. We got the second broadside out. Our lamp system is busy with the decoy. Good job. We're not suffering heavy losses. We are at good health still. We took some beating, but not enough, so it's no problem. And we also have, uh, for some reason, filled this Eucrypterid uh, Lopteus with a lot of... Uh, Harpoons, because that's what you do. Anyways, looks like we're dealing some decent damage here. This is lots of alloy. It's like a block of solid alloy and metal, probably. Well, it, it ain't gonna sink, that's for sure. Well, well, well. I think that... Uh, is there any chance that this battle could turn its tides? All the steam engines are sad. It's moving forward still somehow. It has a really cool shape. I, I must say that. It's... I haven't seen something like this really. Oh, cool. This is one of those underwater turret thing that shoots shells through the water. Wow, that's cool. Our cramps are doing their uh, job though, and Sean Reed is down to under 40%, so its fate is sealed. It lost. Good. Very good. Because I would have been so disappointed uh, against the broadsword if it, like, I don't know, lost against a 400k ship. I mean, it's built to be cool, but I still kinda, kinda wanted to win, you know? Since all of these, uh, a lot of the people who sent in their ships, um, they sent in really good ships, so we lost most of the battles. And that kind of makes me want to win some of them, you know? So, uh, next up, we have Juzil's second submission. 
CNG Asahi Battleship. Uh, it's a 700k build, so it's properly big. Um, we might lose against this one because uh, Jusel won the battle with the first battleship, so it's possible that this ship is uh, pretty good too. It's like now I spawn in the ship and it's it's like a huge beer bottle. It isn't. <laughs> Anyways, let's see here. It's a, it's a proper battleship thing. It looks like a proper battleship. Uh, like the... That's nice though. That's nice though. It's kinda... What? Okay. I'm kinda wondering here. Why does it... How does it tilt up like that? Anyways, we have cool stuff here. Cranes and winches and stuff. Looks very nice. We have big turrets going on here. Some cool smoke. And yeah, we have a lot of uh, APS there. Look, Looking really dangerous. And, but what? How, how do we got this shape? It is sticking up, right? right? It is sticking up, but it's... It has to be use a subconstruct that is slightly tilted. Ah, very advanced. Not for Jimodism. Cool, advanced stuff. Oh, here we have robots on the deck. Does it just stand here being confused? Oh, it has like a workforce. And they're like doing things. And they're like, they're like, Filling up ammo and stuff like that. Anyways, we should keep keep our minds to this battle here. But I kind I kind of wanna you know. Just wanna take a quick dive. We have some interesting parts in here and empty compartments. That's good. Well, I like the bridged. <laughs> okay, it's going into a broadside mood, kind of. It doesn't look like it did any substantial damage to us yet, I don't think, but maybe it did. We moved the AI a little bit, not much, we didn't move it, we just rebuilt the compartment, so... It's not as scary with those uh, EMP hits anymore. But it still is scary, we'll see against the other old winners. Okay. Our Hesh shells are coming in there. We have Cram shells bouncing off. Okay, let's follow one of these shots. Boom. It's dealing some damage. It took us down to 97. Oh yeah, that's probably some armor piercing... I don't know, armor piercing frag or something. One of those popular setups. Oh, you right. And there we go. Broadsorting in. Oh my god, this is this feels like an even bow oh, that was a good hit. That was an amazing hit. It just penetrated there and exploded it. Good job. Still has more turrets to go. Oh, but it seems our cram actually disabled some of the turrets. We might actually win this thing. Like, we took some damage, but uh, our crams are a little bit dangerous at least. Right. And uh, armoring up our main gun turret was probably a good move. Uh, we're now much. We're now much better against. Uh, yeah, our main gun turret doesn't die as quick, and that that's that's an advantage. Ew, we we are repairing pretty quickly here. We're up to 94 too. All right, someone else is using repair bots. Oh, what is this though? That's like a little inside the compartment area stuff. And it's so hard. Oh wait, if I use the control shift lock on. I can't. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 
It's hard to lock on, on a very good spot. This is as good as I can do it. It's a beautiful little material compartment. Yeah, that was cool. I just wanted to see that. So, we are chasing after the broad... No, the, the Asahi. Uh, we seem to not be able to get into a nice broadside angle here. That or our... Our, no, it's probably just out of angle. I don't think our main AI is, uh, has some problems. We're still in the lead material-wise. Um, both in health and in stored materials, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Do I have one million materials? No? It's hard to see how many numbers we got. God, it's so... It just spams us with super light shells. I think the broadsword has some problems with its uh, engine power, to be honest. Hmm. And looks like those harpoons are indeed... It feels like we're getting dragged along, doesn't it? All right. Oh, yes. Come into broadside. Yes. Yes. Do it. I command fire. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. We did some damage there. We did almost 5-10%. Bam. We got some internal explosions here. Oof. Crams can be quite powerful, I must say. And it now targets block underwater, so the crams are more likely to not miss nowadays, which is kind of handy. Really handy. So, looking like now, I guess actually, I think the Asahi would have a, a, a proper chance against the unupgraded broadsword. Um, but after these upgrades, it seems that our survivability, especially our main gun turret, has increased in a way so that it looks like we're winning this. Pyong. Yep. It's sailing along there. Very nice. 74 percentages and the, it feels like the uh, engine and stuff like that is pretty well protected it's still keeping a pretty good speed more internal explosions oh that's AI bits though that looked like AI bits oh no look the AI is not controlling roll anymore is it it is not. It is not. We might have AI killed this thing. Possibly. Or it was an auxiliary AI, but I saw the AI parts flying. Bam, 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 bam. Very nice. Yeah, and now the engines have stopped. And, oh, these are some decoys, are they not? Sonar boys. Oh, yeah. Well, now the engine is down and uh, the broadsword can get into close contact any second. But, um, it's down to 64 percentages. It's not recovering in the rate we're damaging it so this is indeed a win for the broadsword very nice so then we have one more secondary submission left uh, for the people who submitted several stuff uh, this should be all uh, if I haven't forgotten anything and uh, then I am very sorry please tell me uh, in the comments but I don't think so 
I think I think I got it. I do think I got it. So yeah. And after that we can probably start testing some of the previous winners against the uh, broadsword. And yeah, that can be quite interesting. See if uh, see if we can win against like any of the previous winners. Um, that would be kind of cool after the upgrade, of course. Um, yeah, so we are officially winning this. So yeah, next battle. Sad ship, but beautiful. But sad, very sad. This is not so sad to today, but it's usually very sad. But not now. Next up, we have Netra Meira's second submission, NNV Triton, which is a 1 million build, which is worrying since the Oxomoko is a 650k build. And from what I can see in my little list here, it won. So now we'll see what an equally sized ship from Netra Meira will do against the Broads Broadsword. Right, so here we have the NNV Triton. Oh man, that camo is scary as hell. It's like flames and shit. What are we gonna do? Oh no, oh no. It looks nice though, you can walk around on here. But it really looks like uh, you taken a battleship and then you like brought it into a like a, a, a junkyard where like some graffiti junkies lives and just told them can you pimp this for like five hundred dollars and they'd be like okay and here is the result it looks very much uh, graffiti spray painted anyways it's probably very deadly and we should indeed start this battle right so what is it doing to us we have a is that APS? I thought it was a laser for a second. Now that's APS. We have a very fast fire APS. We have some railgun stuff going on there. And oh no, it already deleted 5% from our... Man, that's some dangerous stuff going on there. It's just shedding blocks. Oh yeah. And EMP is just melting through the entire system. Very not good. Our anti-missile system seems to be doing something. But they are going after some kind of decoy, are they not? I think so. Alright. So we're down to 90% and uh, the Triton is still at 97.96.9.7. God. Oh no! Where did you, did you get two barrels from though? Alright. We're just shedding blocks here. We, the AI now decided to switch sides. Smart idea. Our main gun turret is indeed already blown out. And... Yeah, these missiles do some damage, I must say. What are they? They're explosives. Okay. But it's, it looks like, it looks like some of them are like thumpers, to be honest, on the damage pattern. What was that? Alright. What? Netramena is down to 83 percentages? What happened though? I did totally miss that. God damn it! One of our broadside volleys must have gotten through. The lamb system. Damn, this turned a lot interesting. Right, I, I just noticed those dangerous shells stopped coming. Right, this can turn. It really looked like this was a no-brainer win for Netra Meira, but our overwhelming cram broadside got through. It got through. Here we got another one, okay. 
Oh yeah. A few shells got through. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We might win this. Amazing. I didn't expect that. Oh no. Uh, it's taking a lot of damage. We are not in the lead in terms of materials anymore. This is close. Well, our anti-torpedo system is uh, valiantly doing its job, that's for sure. And whoa, those vertical launching missiles are just launching and launching. But the Nithramada is still 1% behind. Weird. We have half as much material in storage, which means we are doing uh, less damage. But... Uh, oh no! We got the fatal hit. Broadsword is down to 79 percentages. What got killed? That was a pretty bad hit, I feel like. Okay, do any of the broadside guns work? At least some of the simple weapons. Some of the cramps are still online. A few of them got through. Okay, we, do, we did some damage there. How is it this gonna end? Oh. Our lamb system is just absolutely sad. All right. Still an even battle. Oh man. The broadsword. Did it decide to switch sides again? I think it did. The AI works in mysterious ways. I wonder if that is because no, no. What is it doing? We don't have any weapons facing front frontwards. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right. Show them your broadside. Oh, and the, the small arms weapons are still dangerous and online. I don't know what type of damage they do. I guess it's kinetic. But they do eat away some blocks, slowly but surely. Oh, broadsword! Oh no! Damn! We ain't got many weapons left here. And we're certainly not facing the enemy with those we got. It's kinda time to switch broadside again, I believe. Oh no. Broadsword is down to 67%, the Netramera is down to 80 Can or Cranwell get through? It couldn't get through this time. Weird. Something happened with the... With the Triton's lamb system seemed to have gotten better. Or we just don't overwhelm it anymore. It could be that too. Quite possibly. Alright. Looks like the Broadsword is indeed not winning this battle. The tables could have turned, but in the end, it seems they didn't. Alright. What is going on here? Broadsword has no materials left. That's bad. Oh, we're so doomed. Very, 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 very doomed. Man. I'm kind of surprised it still floats. Alright, we are going down. Below 55 percentages. Yep, just a few more missiles and there we go. Well, good game. That was a close one actually. Didn't expect that, but it's still a win for Netramedas, second submission, and NV Triton. So, let us write that down. Cool. Oh wow. Right, so...
it was fun to see these like uh, secondary submissions and uh, like um, late submissions. But I feel like that uh, we're not gonna pitch the winner against the broadside like this time. It's 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 too much. Um, but I do I do kind of feel like we should uh, we should see here. We should test it against. Let's see. Okay, the BBS fifth season, just because. Uh, we want to. Right, broadsword BBS fifth season, just because I, we want to see what types of damage it does. And this is 1.3 million. So there is like no way we are winning this. It's more like we want to see how fast we lose. Um, because I've seen this thing and it's apparently kind of dangerous. Ew, nice windows. Ah. Oh. A splendid hall. Ah, and here we have some like free air gaps going on there. That's probably that's probably real smart. Just have an empty room like this. Lots of surge protectors. Do we have some? This is dark. Exhausts, exhaust sonars. All right. Right. Let's just start this thing and see what happens. I think we want to be at a broadsword. See how scary these shots are. Oh man. Oh no. One of our turrets is gone. It shoots straight through us. It's like zip straight through. Man, that's scary. Okay. Just shot through all of this broadside cannons. Just zip. Does it have a lamp system? Can it take out this incoming cram? It can't. That did a tiny damage. The BBF season is taking damage though. We got one of the turrets a little bit. And just look at the size difference of these things. The broadsword is so compact compared to this one. But seems that cram cannons is probably a good thing to uh, throw against this. Since it doesn't have a super scary lamp system. That's a lot of radar. What? Is that necessary for accuracy? That's crazy. We're not already dead, which kind of surprises me. I don't I, I never I never tried this ship ever ever before. So I don't know how like hard it is. I just uh, saw on YouTube that it seems to be uh, a pretty formidable craft indeed. All right. Oh, do we? We got some mortars. We do. We do. Okay. But also, it's down to eighty-nine percent, and the BBS fifth season is at uh, ninety-five. So it's uh, it looks like it's winning pretty well. Our main turret is still not dead. That's cool. Probably mostly luck, but yeah. Oh, we don't have any torpedoes coming in against us either. We got cram. And APS. Oh no! Oh no! That was a that was a really good hit. Uh, did it hit? Oh no. Isn't this like the AI compartment? Oh well. It's impossible to like... Let's just pause the game and just check a little bit quickly. I wanna know if this mortars... Oh yeah. 
it hit above the air compartment, but the air compartment was thick enough for it to not get through. Good for us. The broadsword, I mean, come on! Do the broadside! What are you doing? Just turn! I may need to set its combat altitude to uh, something like longer. No, the, the combat altitude of the, of the broadsword is like really close. I don't know why it's approaching, to be honest. I don't really know why it is approaching in a straight angle. It should honestly show the broadside to the enemy and uh, then just shoot at it. Like this, this kind of makes me want to go over the broadside a little bit again to check its AI and stuff like that. Because this ain't right. It's... This ain't right. Um, the only the only thing that could cause this, like, properly, is that the main AI is dead, and it looks okay. Let's stop here. Let's see. Oh wait. Oh, we got some damage leaking through here. Main AI, I think that's the main AI. It's not dead, but it's damaged. Our ACBs controlling these behaviors can possibly have been damaged. All right. Well, these are some really heavy uh, penetrating shots, that's for sure. Oh no, our other cram can got dead. Well, well, well. Doesn't look like something extremely exciting will like change in this battle. But, uh, yeah. We're just not dealing damage, do we? It's like, no, it's just wiggling forward slowly. For some reason, it's not wanting to broadside. It's like, it's like it's only strength. I'll need to go through the AI and make sure this doesn't happen. It should always, always, always face a broadside against the enemy. And it's only the first few seconds it should be facing the enemy frontwards to take some of the most heavy shots and just get absorbed in the front of the ship so that the first shots from the enemy doesn't hurt the broadside capabilities when we come into broadside range, you know? Yeah. Weird that. And the mortars do a good job too, but uh, yeah. This thing is going down. It's not... It's not doing very well, is it? Now we got a few broadside shots moving in there. Which is nice, but a little bit too late. <laughs> At 63 versus 94 percentages, not cool. And it's not pitching very well anymore. Poor thing. Yeah, well. I think we can probably conclude this little battle on this little video and, uh, you know, we should look over the broadsword a little bit again and then my intention is to run a little rerun of the winners against the upgraded broadsword and see if, uh, if that solves, like, if we can win some of the battles we lost. That would be kind of cool. But uh, other than that... I'll just say thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jimodism, and uh, we're signing out. See you next time. Bye-bye.